Welcome to One Life, One Book, the program where we discuss the tafsir of the Quran and currently we are discussing Surah Rahman. Surah Rahman, also known as Surah Ni'mat, meaning Allah's bounties, or Surah Rahmat, meaning Allah's mercy. Um, so far we have reached up to Ayat 17. If you've been with us in our previous episodes, you have reached with us to Ayat 17 as well. And it's important for you to stay with us throughout Surah Rahman and the Tafsir Surah Rahman because this Surah will do Shafa for you insha'Allah on the day of Qiyamah. This Surah will be very helpful for all of us on the day of Qiyamah if we read it in the right way, if we study it in the right way, and if we treat it properly as we are supposed to. And insha'Allah we'll learn what all those ways of learning Surah Rahman in the w- proper way and reading Quran in the proper way and how this Quran and this Surah can come to our help on the Day of Judgment will be. We have Adam al Najafi with us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Um, so inshallah we'll continue with the tafsir of um, Surah Rahman, Ayah 17. But I just wanted to, before we uh, start with Ayah 17, just discuss a little bit about how important the Quran is on the Day of Judgment. The viewers should know the how important this Qur'an will be on the Day of Judgment and that this Qur'an will come as we are all standing there uh, in front of Allah in groups there will be so many different groups there will be groups of mu'min there will be groups of abid there will be groups of shohada and ulama and masumin and fuqaha and everybody will be there standing in groups and this Qur'an will come and all these groups will everyone will say be in hopes that the Qur'an will come to us Right, because the Quran is going to look so beautiful and so just appealing and something very attractive, and all the groups will want the Quran to come to them. But the Quran is slowly going to pass each of those rows, pass by the mu'min, pass by the abid, pass by the fuqaha and the shohada and the everybody. So the Quran is going to pass by all these groups. But um, one question that comes to my mind is why are there so many different groups? I mean, we are all under Ummat Muhammadi and we are all under the umbrella of being Muslim. So then why are we broken up into, you know, for example, mu'min or shuhada or ulama and all these things? Why can't we just be together? Yeah, first of all, there will be 120,000 groups. Mm-hmm. Among them, 80,000 are belong to Ummati Muhammadi. You know, it shows that uh, the dua of our Prophet will come, inshallah, true that it was his dua and wish that, you know, my ummat, my nation... Mm-hmm my generation and Muslim generation um, inshallah would be a most and a huge you know huge the, group yeah huge group of that mm-hmm. then I can proud in the day of judgment mm-hmm. about my so inshallah you know um, I say to my friends that yeah, it's good to have more children child but you know quality or not just quantity so here yeah this hadith it shows that uh, you know uh, it even gives um, us the purpose of life and you know the what is the goal it should be in our life because it says that on the day of judgment the you know the muslims yeah because mm-hmm. muslim means the person who uh, just believe right. just not denying to right. allah's command allah's the lowest you know, of yeah, the level, then mu'min you know mm-hmm. higher then, for example, uh, the shaheed, yeah. Then after shaheed, there's a level of faqih and, you know, alim, the truthful alim. Yeah, so it shows that on the Day of Judgment, you know, according to our um, deed and our 
our amal and our, you know, uh, whatever we have done in this world, we will get the status. So, you know, sometimes I say to myself and my student that uh, in this world we want to reach, you know, if, if we are able to go in best school and best, you know, to achieve a best degree, we never, you know, uh, give up. We said, yeah, we, if, if, if I'm able to go, why I shouldn't, you know, because all the parents, they have this hope that their children, you know, they, they want to see their children on that high post and high status. So, but we never think about hereafter, you know, in which status, inshallah, we will uh, go. So, this is just a, you know, point um, which uh, comes in our mind by uh, reading this um, hadith. But the hadith says that uh, according to, uh, you know, all the Muslim or Mu'min and Abid and Shuhada, they know about Quran because they were in this world, but they were Muslim. Mm -hmm. But according to their relationship, you know, their connection, their friendship, their love with Quran, they will get, you know, closer uh, to that holy book. So you can continue the beautiful hadith mm -hmm. and which says that this uh, la ilaha illallah al -kareem. Like, mm -hmm. look how beautiful this book is. I wish it could stay with us. Mm -hmm. You know now, now, like how we say in this world that mashallah, Hina is so mashallah pretty in her character and in her masal and akhlaq and everything. I wish, you know, I could make her my relative and, you know, mm -hmm. I can get her and mm -hmm. I can stay with her, you know. Mm -hmm. Like uh, about Sami Yusuf, people mm -hmm. say that some people, they say, no, he's Iranian because we are Irani. Yeah. Some people say, no, he's Turkish, you know. Yeah. Everyone wants him Everyone. to be, you know, a part of their, you mm -hmm. know, community because uh, he is a famous mm -hmm. man. And if there is any, you know, like Osama, every said, no, 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 he's not Pakistani, right. he's not Afghani, right. you know, we don't want it. Right. So like that, everybody wants the Quran to be with them with and them them. part yeah. of their group. Yes. So uh, the Hadith goes on to say that after um, the Quran passes by the row of all these different groups, it will come to the Masumin and the Prophets. And um, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will as, will be asked by the other prophets that is this an angel or is this a messenger and it's so attractive we want it to stay with us it's so beautiful even the prophets are going to yeah, think something yeah, like this yeah. I mean that's and according to some hadith it says that even the, the Quran mm -hmm. it will come amongst the prophet in the uh, form of the prophet you know mm -hmm. and then it goes among to the angels you mm -hmm. know in, in the form of angels mm -hmm. and then Prophet, they, they come and they ask Prophet yeah. about him and Prophet said, you can see yourself. Right, what, wait you know, and see yeah, what yeah, happens. Yeah, okay. So the Quran will then move up to Arsha Ilahi, the yeah, highest which, heaven. Which right? is the peak of the, the peak. Jannah right. and hereafter. You right. know. And um, Allah will tell the Quran, this Quran that, you know, ho hold your head high, you are so beautiful, you are attractive, every group is wishing to be near you. Yes. So today is your day and it is up to you who you want to do shafa'at for, who you want to intervene for, and who you want to um, give your blessing to. So yeah. then we'll have to wait and see, inshallah, on inshallah. that day, if uh, the Qur'an will do shafa'at shafa for us. But again, the main point being that we have to um, treat the Qur'an in this world in the proper way that we will be among that group inshallah. that it will inshallah intervene for us and do shafa'at for us on that inshallah. day and we should um, the viewers inshallah continue and stick with Hadi TV with this program and many of the other programs that we also show with the tafsir of the Quran so that you may not only read it at home but it will give you an insight for those of you who don't have any direct access to for example teachers or madrasas or schools or the, um, even books of tafsir this is a really good way for you to gain some knowledge some in-depth knowledge of the Quran on and of certain surahs and of um, gaining an understanding, a deeper understanding of the Quran, inshallah, so it may help you and be of your benefit in the hereafter. So with that being said, uh, let's continue. Ayah number 17 is what for Surah Rahman? Yeah, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Rabbul Mashraqaini wa Rabbul Maghribain. Uh, in this beautiful surah, Allah is mentioning about His bounties and uh, about His blessings and here He wants to uh, wants us to be reflect or to be ponder about the even uh, two Easts and two West which Allah has given to us. So Rab as we know Rab means uh, Lord. L Rab because um, whenever Allah uses the word of Rab is different from the uh, the word Allah sometimes he uses as a 
uh, he uses the uh, Allah, you know, mm-hmm. Allah says Bismillah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, on Allah himself, he is the Rahman, Ar-Rahim, and sometimes they say, Alhamdulillah, Rabb, Rabb al-Alameen, that Rabb is Rahman, Ar-Rahim. So Rububiyyat means, you know, the way Allah is nourishing, mm-hmm. the way Allah is, you know, a bringing that, mm-hmm. that training, you know, right. that, that that kind of sense. Mm-hmm. So here he is running, or he is, you know, giving them this command uh, about mashriq and maghrib means about east. Uh, but mm-hmm. here uh, mashriqain and mm-hmm. maghribain. Do you so know? that's a plural. So why? No, no, no. It's not a plural. Uh-huh. It's mashriqain. In Arabic, it's something uh, different because mm-hmm. you know, in most of the languages, we have uh, singular and plural. Mm-hmm. But in Arabic, we have three. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Yeah. One is uh, singular. One is for two. Two. And yeah. one is for more than two. Yeah. More okay. than two. So this more is the one three. referring to two. Yes, yes. Okay. But we know that there's only one east and one west in the world. Yeah. As far as we know from what we can tell. So why is Allah referring as two east and two west? Yeah. What does that mean? Not only this, um, Allah has mentioned about three, you know, in on the way of three terms in uh-huh. Quran. Like singular, uh, plural, and um, this tasniya we say mm-hmm. for two. Dual. Like two, yeah. Uh-huh. Dual? In, in English. English. Okay. We say dual. They have dual. Okay. Mm-hmm. We don't have a dual in English, but we call that dual. Okay. <laughs> so here um, it says that Mashriq um, al-Shams is different from Mashriq al-Qamar. Mm-hmm. Means the east of the sun is completely different from the east of the moon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, it's obvious, it's clear that there are two east. Uh-huh. Because one east is for Qamar, uh-huh. one uh, moon, and one east is for uh, sun. sun. Yeah. What does that mean? Two is one for the sun, one yeah. for the moon. On moon. this earth? Yes, yes, uh-huh. yes. You know that, that from where the sun rises, uh-huh. the place is different. Right. So from where the moon, moon rises, rises. Yeah. Uh-huh. So mashriq, you know. Mm-hmm. Even not mashriq, even maghrib. They are, they are, you know, the way they set that on the west. Yeah. Just two different locations, yeah. sort of. And according uh-huh. to Imam Ali alayhi salam's uh, hadith and saying, he says, mashriq al-shita wa mashriq al-sayf. There is uh, sun um, sunrises in the winter is completely different from the summer. Yeah, so there are two mashriq means according to season, according to summer and winter, which is in Arabic shita and sayf. And uh, about the plural, why uh, Quran has um, you know has used many times mashariq wal magharib, which means many easts and many wests. So, uh, according to that, um, Mufassirin, they said that throughout the year, even we have every day, you know, every time there is a big difference, yeah, between the uh, the place from where the sun rises. So, every day there is mashriq is different from mm-hmm. the uh, maghrib mm-hmm. and uh, from the other day. Previous day. Right? Yes. And, and, you know, uh, sometimes some people, they say, oh, you know, why this Muslim, they, they have... Uh, they, they, they don't have fixed dates like, you know, how in English we mm-hmm. have 30 days, 29 days and 31 days. But in, 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 in for is- Islamic calendar, we have to see, you know, uh, all the time, the moon. You know. So I said, look at the positive way, how updated we are. You know, mm-hmm. we have to be always aware and you have to be look on the all mashriq and maghrib and you know according to time to time and according to all this we, we are you know fixing our right. dates that's why we have some problems in right. Eid or you know right. yeah so that is uh, something different issue but uh, this is this shows our ilm you know mm-hmm. and uh, the how uh, we should be aware of this Allah's na'mat and we should know that what is happening happening each and every day mm-hmm. and according to some other commentators they said that uh, why there are plural mashariq and magharib in Quran they said that other words have the process of you know down and set too mm-hmm. like not in this world because because even they have so we have and they have that's why there are many mashriq and mm-hmm. many maghrib right. and uh, some they said even in our you know our own planet there are many other unknown parts we have right. you know, other we don't levels know. that we yeah, can't see yeah. Yeah. 
So we, we don't know, you know, right. there are many other reasons which right. we know. Yes, and there are many blessings mm -hmm. for associated yeah. with the East and the West. Yeah, right. you know better, mashallah. Because of, you know, it, it, because of the East and West, we have season. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. we have this all different sustenance. weather yeah. and sustenance, crops and yeah. all these things that yeah. we get. Yes, that is all due to the East yeah. and the West and the... So we can say this is a perfect arrangement from Allah who He has right. made for us, right. alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. So that's why Allah is asking, فَبِأَيِّ آلَاءِ رَبِّكُمَا تُكَذِّبَانِ means, which of my bounties will you both deny? Yeah, Jin and all man. are the Allah's miracle, you know, right. which miracle of Allah you want to deny. So we reply, inshallah, by our um, amal, deeds, action, and by uh, from our heart that لا بشيء من آلاء ربنا نكذب. إن شاء الله we do not deny a single bounty of our Lord. Lord إن شاء الله. So just remember the viewers that um to keep in mind the reply whenever Allah is asking us which do you deny it is very very important for us to pronounce these words لا بشيء من آلاء ربنا نكذب. Me, just replying to Allah and saying that, Lord, we do not deny a single one of your bounties that you are revealing to us that we see out in the world. So with that, um, we go on to ayah number 19 in yes. the surah, which discusses what? Which yeah. ni'mat are we being Yeah, because from the sun and moon, Allah takes us uh, to the miracle of the oceans now. Mm -hmm. You know, we are we were in skies, right. and we have to reflect about that. All Allah's bounties now. Allah is saying, look at the oceans Ocean. and yeah, rivers and water and whatever, mm -hmm. because the huge part of the earth is from yeah water, water. Of yeah, as we know. So that's why this is a very, very Alhamdulillah Allah's biggest uh, bounty that Allah is saying, "Maraj al Bahrain yaltaqiyan bainahuma barzakhun la yabghiyan, fa bi ayi ala irabbikuma tukadiban." So ayat number tw nineteen, twenty, and twenty-one. You know mm -hmm. all this. Uh, you know together. This, yeah, nineteen and twenty is about so the same. Mm -hmm. You know message it has. So the uh, you know usually we do the word. And meaning, you know, like why Marajal Bahrain, you know, it's beautiful if we get to know because in Quran many times we have said that how many times Allah is, you know, repeating the same mm -hmm. words. If I know, get to know Maraj here, the meaning of Maraj, then I can, you know, easily understand the other um, surah and ayah of Quran. Mm -hmm. So the, the translation is He has left free. The two, ba the two bodies of flowing water mm -hmm. meeting together. Bainama barzakhulla yabghayan means between them is a barrier which they do not cross. Right. Yeah. So meaning to say that these bodies of water come together. For example, rivers mm -hmm. um, are flowing and their flow is to an ocean. Usually they let out into the ocean, but this ocean water and this river water does not mix. Yes, yes. they do not cross the boundaries that Allah has set for them. I know it's even known that um, because river water is fresh water, or also known as sweet water, because the ocean is salty. And when the river water comes and mixes with the ocean, it actually doesn't mix. It actually stays to the side, like towards the shore of the of the ocean. And then with that, it provides nourishment to all the trees and the plants and all the... Yeah, you know, which things. is the uh, you know, biggest, wa really we can say the miracle of miracle Allah. Miracle of Allah, yeah. yeah that and these how? two bodies of water, I mean, just think about if you just sit and ponder for a moment, you see how mm. they just listen to the command of Allah. Mm. Allah tells the water, flow, go. So the water is flowing, but it does not mix. It, it knows its place. Mm. It knows I should stay here, and the ocean is here. So you can say they are real muttaqi. <laughs> yes, they are real muttaqi. Inshallah, we can also be like that one day. Inshallah. 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 And because, alhamdulillah, my father is a commentator of Quran, of mm -hmm. Quran, and I am proud of him, alhamdulillah. So when um, we were in holiday, you know, there was an ocean in, between, in front of us, and we were walking, and he was telling me, Look at this ocean, this water, you know, how, 
you know rashly and constantly they are running you mm-hmm. know going somewhere where they are going mm-hmm. how look at their movement look at their you know intention and you know that the, the jazba and the mm-hmm. you know like it's the a, a, a submi- submission mm-hmm. submission which they have and they are going 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 and and really you know after that whenever i used to say yeah where they are going why they are going mm-hmm. how fast they are going they are moving and we Mm. you know <laughs> we are just sometimes just we are so lazy taking after one year in the same level mm. of quran we are mm. so you know each and every ramzan you know i say oh you know the same level which i was last year i'm, I'm the same level why i didn't increase my understanding of mm. quran mm-hmm. you know we are not moving we are not submitting towards allah mm. but look at this all allah's alhamdulillah right. And here we have all these proofs around us of other uh, other creations of Allah which are just constantly obeying His command and then here we are beautiful, you know, yeah, beautiful. falling short. So inshallah, we have to look to these for inspiration and motivation and just as the water flows and rushes towards Allah, we also have to rush towards Allah inshallah. inshallah. So maraj, I was telling you, maraj means left or let free. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bahrain, bahr means um, rivers or ocean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yaltaqiyan mulaqat, you know, they they are you know meeting together. Mulaqat, yaltaqi, we can get to know easily okay. the meaning. Yeah, and uh, in Surah Furqan, ayat number fifty-four, Allah has mentioned the same you know message, mm-hmm. like about Maraj al Bahrain. Again, the word of Maraj al Bahrain. You know, the one of the technique of doing tafsir of Quran is. According to Hadith, Hadith says that if you don't understand sometimes Quran, one ayah in one place you have stuck, so go refer, you know, read or recite whole or ponder whole Quran, you will see, you know, somewhere else Allah has mentioned the same message mm-hmm. but in detail. Uh-huh. So you get to know the you know commentary, the right. shar, the meaning, you know, in detail in other ayah. Mm-hmm. So because the same message is there, so we say al al Quran you fasiru ba'zuhu li ba'z in something like that. That if some of the part of the Quran is doing commentary of some other part of mm-hmm. the Quran. Right. Yeah. So here uh, Surah Furqan is doing the tafsir of this uh, uh, Surah Rahman ayah number nineteen, that in which Allah is saying, Maraj al Bahrain means what? Which kind of two bahr? As you, mashallah, you have mentioned it, azbun. Furat milhun ujaj means sweet water mm-hmm. and the salty water. Mm-hmm. So these two waters, two bahar, because there's a question again, why two bahar? Mm-hmm. And one other thing is so beautiful. It uh, just I was yesterday I was wondering, I was thinking that this all bounties which we are mentioning because we are the insan, mm-hmm. we are the human being. So just we are thinking about our, uh, you know, the benefit which we are getting, mm-hmm. the blessing which we are getting from these uh, Allah's bounties and ni'mat and creation. But what about the jinn? You know, we don't know how much, you know, blessing they are getting from this. Right. Yeah, so how much they are receiving from, you know, Bahru, Moon, oh, Sun, you know, and right. whatever we have discussed and other beautiful things which we discuss, inshallah, and furthermore. So, uh, it's so beautiful. We don't know they are, you know, more and how kind of tafsir they do, right. you know. Right. It's so beautiful that um, this is the ni'mat for us. So, it says very beautifully that, um, yeah, Surah Furqan is, interpreting and Mm -hmm. doing tafsir of this ayah. One other hadith which I want to share with you, it's beautiful Mm -hmm. because as I have told you that um, there is one um, tafsir, yeah, the the literal meaning which we do and one is according to tafsir which um, by hadith we have uh, some hadith about the same ayah. So hadith says that Bahrain means uh, Ali or Fatima. Ali alayhi salam of Fatima to Zahra salam alayha. Yeah, because Bahr is so vast. You know, if if like we have one of the ulama's title is Bahr al Ulum. Mm-hmm. He's a very yeah. famous alim. Yeah, so we said Bahr means you know he is the ocean the of knowledge. knowledge yeah, right. because so, so much depth it right. has, and 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 Bahr is full of um, you know bounty and rahmat and khair mm-hmm. you know the, everything we can get from it you know there's nothing bad about it so because uh, because of that they said bahr to hazrat fatima to zahra salam alayha and to hazrat imam imam ali alayhi salam mm-hmm. but these two are not you know uh, the the second ayah what does it mean bainahuma barzakh 
-hmm. Barzakh means uh, there is a barrier, distance, yeah. yeah? Like how we have barzakh, barzakh yeah? yeah. The, the which is between this world and hereafter. Right. Yeah, so barzakh. So here also Allah is saying, Maraj al Bahrain, Yal Taqiyan, two, bah, two beautiful oceans, they are meeting to eat together, but there is some barzakh between them. Mm -hmm. So what does it that mean? There's a beautiful akhlaqi points, you know, for our practical, some points which we can inshallah practice in our life is like they're saying these two are not interfering in each other's affairs uh -huh, you know yeah. and not you know a burden on each other they are doing their own job mm -hmm. you know they are respe respecting each other بَيْنَهُمَ بَرْزَخٌ لَا يَبْغِيَانْ means بَغَاوَتْ in Arabic like they're not doing any kind of yeah do not cross so uh, yeah, they, they, they are not interfering uh, to each other because it's a beautiful example for husband and wife and right. even all couples right. how many problems we have right. because of some very worldly, reasons, worldly reasons, shallow reasons yeah. we break this bond that we've created. Yeah. It's a very sad situation. Yeah. Um, so it's saying that because wife, you know, is, is she is fulfilling her obligations, mm -hmm. you know, whatever responsibilities she has and. You know, and a husband, he does his own uh, responsibilities, so there is no any kind of conflict. And right, there's no of, interference yeah. with yeah. each other's responsibilities and the path that yeah. they're taking. Right? So because of that, if there is beautiful bahr, our yaltaqiyan, you know, mm -hmm. there is a good match of the husband and wife mm -hmm. and they respect uh, to each other's rights, right. you know. Then what will happen? What is the result? What is the, you know, summer? They said, uh, out of them, Come pearls and coals, uh -huh. you know, pearls and corals. Yeah, Mashallah. like uh, it's a beautiful um, ayah. The yakhruju min huma lulu wal marjan, which is Imam Hassan and Imam Hussein alayhim mm salam. -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful again that if we have beautiful relationship, you know, uh, and and good understanding, then. There is a beautiful, you know, results. Results, which yeah. would be in this case, husband and wife and children yeah. will be like pearls, like Imam Hassan and Imam. Yes, Inshallah. Yes, yes. Inshallah. That concludes our program for today. Thank you so much to the viewers for joining us. And again, if you have any questions about today's program or anything about Surah Rahman or any of our previous programs, you can send us an email at info at hadi.tv.com. Please put in the subject line, One Life, One Book, the name of our program, so that we may do our best to answer your question or your comment on the show. And inshallah, we appreciate your feedback and appreciate any comments or suggestions you can give to us for our program and for future and upcoming programs. Inshallah, join us again next time for more One Life, One Book and the Tafsir of Surah Rahman. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.